Greetings everybody and welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth <clears throat> with me with a croaky voice because I literally just finished a mouthful of coffee right before I set my opening and now I sound like an idiot. Okay so we're at the castle and as you can probably tell it's been rebuilt even more. Look at this. It's only half built believe me. Um, it took me an entire day of finagling this crap to get it exactly how I needed. So believe me, if I recorded all of this, it would have been awful. Turn the grass off. Just loaded. <clears throat> so yes, this is all the framework. It's not been completed, but I've put in a frame of what should go where. So let me just give you a quick tour. So the downstairs here, this is barracks. So we've got a total of 10, yeah, 10 beds in here to sleep the artillery troops. Uh, another barracks over here, which has enough to sleep 12 or 11, 6 that side, 5, to 11. So we've got 21 extra beds on the ground floor. I've removed the mattresses from the maintenance room because I don't want people sleeping on the maintenance room floor anymore. We now have enough space to sleep 91, which is extremely good. It's more than I expected. Hello, Alex. So where are we off to next? I brought Kate here because I thought I could put her in the boxing arena down there, but uh, it didn't really work out. But uh, this is where we built last time. This is above the boxing ring. So we have a bedroom here with sleeping four. Next to it here, a bedroom three. Next to this, a two bed. In the corner, some prime real estate. Two here. Now bear with me, I just need to adjust my settings here. There we go, just been nicely adjusted. Yes, yeah, so we've got the bar. Um, this still has some stuff to finish. Um, I've put a little bit of uh, bottles on here just to decorate it. Uh, the pool table. Fortunately, I went salvaging some extra stuff yesterday and I actually bumped into a broken down bar and lo and behold, there were some uh, pool balls in there. So I took a fair few and I've set them up plus a frame. It literally could not have been better timing. And of course, a couple of pool cues. So that worked out perfectly. So this is the recreation area on the other side. I decided to leave the walls here made of wood because I think they give it a little bit of character. So I left them as they are. Um, on the other side here, this is just going to be a nice you know, sitting area potentially. This is going to be a bathroom. So I've left it blank for now. I didn't think it was big enough to be an actual bedroom. So I left it as it was. Uh, the next room along here is a three bed. I also have this nice little space here, which I could make into a closet or something like that, which would be pretty cool. Next one here is a four bed. I was tempted to make it five, but I decided against it in the end. Oh, my throat is killing me today. Next one here with a little bit of an entranceway here is a three bed. I was almost tempted to make it four, but I don't want to overload it for the sake of overloading it. Got a nice corner suite with two in here. Three, sorry. That's also got a nice view of Boston in all its post-apocalyptic glory. Uh, the next room along, a two bed, a nice little corner room. Uh, next one is a four. You really think you did the right thing? Three here. This is going to be like a shower and washroom for, you know, if you've just come out of the range or whatever. I thought adding this little corridor would be really cool. We'll just give it a little bit of character. Um, what I could do almost is put a little curtain up across here and I could almost make this into a little makeshift bedroom for somebody. But uh, that's for another time. Uh, around here is the firing range and the gym for the Minutemen. Now, I decided to create this little security clearance post 
We don't want civilians uh, who aren't authorised to be here wandering onto the firing range where there's weapons going off. Though that is a bit ironic because weapons will be going off all the time when we get assaulted. So, as it is. So we've got these two firing range positions here, which I've decorated with the shack ceilings. Uh, I've put these concrete beams in to make an archway. I've got a few ideas of what I can put opposite. But these are ranged guard markers. They pair up with target cards across the other side. Um, so I need to build like a across the water kind of apparatus so they can do their target practice. Uh, I've got 10 spaces here, so probably enough to shoot maybe like... Uh, what am I even saying? So, oh yeah, so I can have one squad practice in the morning or during the day and one squad practice in the evening. This is going to be the office for the artillery commanders. So there's going to be, I suppose in a way, that doesn't really make sense because you've got this wooden wall which last time I checked bullets can travel through <clears throat> right next to where the officers are sitting. Um, so that's going to be fun but yeah um, because a lot of the people manning the guns are going to be uh, private through to specialists and corporals so maybe like a lieutenant or a captain or so can use this office before they report on to their commander downstairs in the war room and then it comes full circle around here so that's the sort of state of play what we need to do is finish the walling off and some of the decoration and we need to put a roof on this. But I think we're pretty much where we want to be with this settlement. There is some more work to do down here. I'm planning on making like a farming area to make it a bit nicer. Nice big greenhouse maybe. But that's where we are at the moment. I've tried to tidy up a fair bit of it by putting these parapets on the outside to cover up these gaps in the walls but... We'll have to see. Right, now bear with me. I just need to get my pad here to see what ideas I had written down. Bear with. Okay, brilliant. So I figure, being the uh, Minuteman lover that I am, I'm going to do up here first. So I have to put these little turret things in because they match with below. I have these turrets on the floor below as well. Now, I don't want to put a balcony up here just because live gunfire accidents happen. <laughs> so let's, let's not do that. But I'm using the brick buildings here, as you know. I think we can just get away with putting a rock, a rock steady brick wall here. Weird. I can't seem to snap in where I need to go. Damn it. Is that because we've got we've got that underneath? Possibly. Um, let's see how this works out then, because I'm not quite sure about this now. Uh, that's fine. Let's bring it down just enough to get it in line here. Okay, so it just has a bit of a chunk of wall at the bottom. I don't mind that at all. I'm trying to avoid saying I can live with that because I'm actually starting to annoy myself now, which isn't a good sign. Now I appreciate with no windows this is going to look a bit bland on the outside, but I have a plan to remedy this, don't you worry. Good old O, he has a plan.
Excellent. And that doesn't glitch through either, which is what we like. Let's attach that in. Hmm. I get the feeling these walls aren't going to match up now. No, I don't think they are. What does this look like when I put the walls here? Yeah, they match up a little bit higher. Okay, I think we're going to have to raise these walls up a tad. Yeah, I think we're going to have to raise them up to be in line with this. I don't think that causes a problem, though. In fact, it probably brings uh, this structure consistent with everything else that I'm building, so that doesn't really bother me at all. Yeah. Um, these more or less match anyway. Just knock them down a tad. Cool. So the firing range wall here is built, which is brilliant. Okay. Now, let's put in this wall over here. feeling I need to bring this along a tad. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we just have this little booth and to give it a little bit more cover. I'm tempted to put doors on here, obviously, because we don't want people just running straight in. Which is uh, not, not good when we have live fire going on in this room here. We've also got a gym. So let me add the concrete. Where did I put the concrete? Miscellaneous. It's the tall one. Yes, yeah, so we've got these concrete beams. Looks a bit dirty, but we'll 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 match it. We'll manage it. that in there. About as good as I'm going to get it. Do these snap? No, they don't. Oh, do they? Ah, they sort of snap halfway. I forgot about that. They don't sort of snap to the tops or anything like they would normally. That's fine. That's not an issue. Now, for the ceiling here, I'm still not too sure about it. So if we, if we go back into the brick structures here. I think the problem with the ceilings is they're these. These enormous rafter things. I say rafter things, they're not exactly rafters, but they're all this giant sort of um, pitched roof. Which is not really what we want. I mean, we could do a flat roof. That doesn't look half bad. I mean, we can always go back and re-pitch re it at some point if we need. So let's let's do that. Let's uh, Let's put the roof on. It's going to make this place awfully dark, but we'll cope. I 
having a flat roof on this castle isn't going to be a bad thing anyway, so. Why does that just not match at all now? Now that's better. Oh, it's snapping to everything else, isn't it? Of course it is. And now I'm going to come into the same snag of doing this as I did with the flooring. So this might take a little bit of working out. Especially because I can't get that high to look at it. <laughs> but never mind. Let's let's crack on. Now we've got the ceiling in. So lights. Does these work lights require direct power? Yes, they do. Okay, let's sod that. Let's put some lights on the columns, at the very least. Yep, so the shooting gallery is now lit up. I mean, we're going to have night shifts working here, so... I don't know why they hover like that. I really don't. Boom. Okay. The officers' quarters here can be lit up slightly differently. Excellent. Uh, there needs to be another wall here. But I'm thinking if this is going to be firing range. This also needs to be where we service and train people on how to use their poxy weapons. So let's put the lighting across here. A bit like a gallery. God, are they all actually in line? They actually are. They're on the ceiling. That's amazing. Now, the reason I want to put these in under resources is because they actually provide happiness. Don't ask me why, but they do. Yes, yeah, so these busy workstations provide happiness. So we're going to put some of them in. Now, if they're going to be training Minutemen here, or at least giving people access to, to practice with their weapons and all that, they're going to need practice on how to service the fuckers too. So, I think four of these will give the Minutemen a really good sort of place to train. thinking if these columns are going to get in the way that's going to be a pain in the backside now don't get me wrong these workbenches here cannot be uh, they can't be used yourself like this you can't use them but uh, they can use them to provide happiness for your settlement and it kind of looks cool it looks like people are actually busy doing things in your settlement 
So that's the kind of reasoning behind it. Might actually need a training and development uniform much earlier than I expected. Oh, that's good. So we've got four of those. Let's let's create a sort of space for it. I think under do it your shelf. Uh, post war. I've got these DIY counters here. They're a little bit too high though. Where did I find it then? Unless it was just simply this one, but shrunk. Yeah, likely it was this, but just shrunk down. So that's against the wall, just like we need. Oh, I can snap. As we felt, I don't think that looks like it's in place whatsoever. <laughs> tables, tables. We had these industrial ones, which I use downstairs. Problem is, they don't snap, and they are a bit of a pain in the absolute ass to place. I don't mind if they clip ever so slightly into there. Now I'm going to bring this forwards a bit because I don't want it to encroach on all this piping behind the workbench here. But I also don't mind if it encroaches into the workbenches ever so slightly, just not to the back. That's perfect. Just needs a wee bit of straightening up. That is in desperate need of straightening up. That's not even touching the back wall. That's it. What about you? Yeah, you're touching the back wall. So are you. So if I edge that in just like that and that in just a little bit. That's our four workbenches. So if I now put a workbench from here. So this is the problem when they don't snap. You do have to really, really carefully finagle them around like this. Just like that. So this one's going to be a tad out of the way. Yes, yeah, so we've got the sort of vent of the, the cabinet on this side. Uh, 
that will remove that little graphical glitch there, which is what we don't want. Fantastic. Brilliant. I'm concerned that might not leave enough space, though. So you know what? I'm actually going to remove this corner. I'll just have the arm come out by one here. Brilliant. Now, I think some signage here would be ideal. I think it's under health, safety and law. Nope, that's going to be under wall signs in that case. <laughs> As if anyone is going to be wearing safety glasses. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a, a good thing we can put here. Watch for Milux, Ferals and other hazards. Nope. Chemicals. Radiation. Hmm, strange. Could have swore I had more than that. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the country. Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for update. That's very strange. I could have swore I had more than that, unless they're under a different category. It's not under signs here, is it? Oh my god. I forgot how many of these I had. My lord, that is a lot of stuff. I'm just looking for like health and safety signs. Health and safety signs. Nuka Cola machine. <laughs> for pair, how many signs have I got in this category? <laughs> advertisements for just about everything. I should take advantage of some of these in my other settlements. My god, I've actually never seen this many. This is actually incredible. I didn't realize there were this many items in the signs category. The game is starting to lag out from how many there are. Oh my god, how many are there? Oh, those are custom ones, obviously. <sighs> okay. I think we're finally here. We sell stim packs, good to know. Hazardous materials, no. I don't actually believe this. How many do I have? Okay, well, I'm definitely not going back in that category again. So, yeah, well, we'll leave the bloody warning signs. <laughs> we'll leave the bloody warning signs. Okay, so in OC decorator here, I think under workshop components, we have generic weapon mods. It's just a box. 
the cog on it. There we go. So I think having these on here would be good. Showing our recruits how to modify their weapons correctly. How to service their FAMASs and take apart their handguns when needed. And this isn't really a training facility, but in the interim... few stacks of crates here. Put a couple in the centre here. And a few on the wing here. Just stack these up a little bit higgledy-piggledy. Uh, spare parts. You're never ever going to know if you need spare parts. So let's stack a few of these around. rounds only one round for that okay oh yeah it's the stacks of them like that which need a lot of ammunition yep I do actually have 93 mini nukes can you believe it yeah because right at the end of these oh yeah these fins I actually have some of these which I picked up put a little army bag on there why not I do have enough in the OC decorator uh, the do-it-yourself clutter which is how I'm going to do the armory in a short while the actual armory downstairs now I think we have paints as well because if we're Minutemen why would we not have blue paint just lumbering around her. Huh? I mean, what, what are we, savages? Um, would we have yellow? No, not really. A Braxo cleaner? I think one or two if we're cleaning up our weapons and polishing them. Some Abraxo cleaner wouldn't go amiss. Definitely some oil. If you're oiling up your weapons and servicing them, you're going to need that. Probably not turpentine, definitely not rat poison. Economy wonder glue. Considering how much bloody adhesive I've used over these, over this time, absolutely no doubt there would be wonder glue all over this place. Uh, do we have duct tape? Or packs of duct tape anywhere here? Makeshift batteries. We wouldn't use them for weapons, but we might have a couple spare. So let's dot them down here. Let's have a couple maybe down uh, stored in the back here. Uh, need to take off surface snapping for this. So we'll store a couple of batteries here. Maybe we've loaned them from the place downstairs. Light bulbs? Nah. Yeah, tools. Packs of duct tape. Perfect. And how could we go without tools? Now, if you're doing a weapon like that, a ball peen hammer wouldn't go amiss. Though why it only snaps to the floor here rather than these counters, I don't know. So I'm just going to have to be careful. Brilliant. So we've got claw hammer, but I've never found a claw hammer. That must be maybe like the Automatron DLC or something, because I've never found a claw hammer. It must be in a place I've not been before. 
Let's put a combo wrench. To be fair, magnifying glass wouldn't be impossible to find in a workshop. Maybe you're trying to pinpoint some of your weapons in a working, so we'll put a couple of those down. Oh yes, of course, paintbrushes. This room is going to be nice and busy with workmanship going on. Pencils. And you might have to draw on something. You might have to cut a stencil through. Something like that. And why would you not have a screwdriver on hand? Pretty much half of the weapons I use have a stupid number of screws. And I think a few boxes of rounds or whatever wouldn't go amiss so let's get some bullets maybe you're about to test them my god enormous I forgot I had the alien blaster so yeah 5.56 rounds let's put some down as you're likely to test it uh, 45 caliber rounds you'll need those as well especially if you're servicing a pistol now this looks ready this looks like it's ready for you know a crew of Minutemen to come and learn I think I need to put down some rubber mats for the old safety in here it's well lit which is good okay so rubber floor mats I think what I'll do is get a settler in here whose day job is to sweep up and keep the place clean Might even be able to get them some like headphones for you know earmuffs while they're working. Yeah, health and safety. Health and safety first. Perfect. That looks ready for habitation. I say habitation. Ready for use, I think is the term. Okay. Now, this is a little bit unrealistic. So, what I'm going to do is move these back. Oops. No, don't pull up the floor. They need that to stand on. The reason I'm going to pull that back is because I want to put some tables in front. Or, I think under do it your shelf, I could use the same ones I use in the shops. Or hell, I could use this counter. That seems a little bit too high though. Um, Pre-war stuff. Perhaps. Now, to be honest, I think these metal ones here will be fine. I think those are just a little bit wonky there. Awesome. Pull back these target practice markers. 
Just a wee tad. Like so. Perfect. Right, so ammo and weapons. Now here's the thing. As you can see, these are 308 cows. I have 12 of these available because for each one of these boxes, it's taking the full cost of those boxes. So that there is 45. So I have to have enough ammo in my inventory for 45 boxes of 308 cal in order to place these. One second. So it's definitely not, not going to be a cheap affair to do this. Ah, so I can place them on the shelf below. So where's the 5.56? 19 boxes of 5.56. Oh yeah, these are also half the cost, so actually I only need enough ammo for 20 boxes. See, 1,345 bullets just to put these down. A bit nuts, but it needs to be done. God, they're so expensive. <laughs> But now I need to put some uh, guns on the top here. Also need to put... Oh my god, I need to put even more of these, don't I? I mean, I could technically cheap out and put in five mil boxes, but I don't do cheap. See, that has just killed almost half my supply of ammunition. <laughs> my god. Still, you're never going to run out. <laughs> okay. I need to go and very quickly run an errand, guys. So I'll be back in a second. Excellent. Here we go. So we've got all our ammo. We now have an OC dispenser here. So what I'm going to do is put down some guns. I don't know what this is going to look like. Oh, that's good. The M60 looks fine. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. It's almost a shame we're going to have to put it down as a decoration. That's it. Flip it around the other way. That's it. But M60... Now, if I want to move this over to here, let's do that. That looks almost exactly like how I would normally have it. It's got the 200 round mag, compensator, gunner sight. I actually think that's the exact same M60 which I give to all my soldiers. That's even better. I actually think that's the exact same M60. That makes me really happy. Oh. Yes. Okay, well, what's it going to do with the CS5? Oh, I knew it was going to take off the bloody hilt there. The hilt? The stock? What am I talking about? Let's place that underneath, if possible. Okay. 
Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Must have had it way too high up. There we go. CS5, that's beautiful. Now we're going to need a few for masses. We also have a few of these. Not too happy about having to put down these P220s because they're kind of difficult to come by. But we're going to need a few. Just buried it in the table. Yep, so I got a nice P220 there. Let's put another one down. I don't really have um, a rhyme or reason for half of this, by the way. I'm literally just winging it. <laughs> Just tapping various rotation directions until it works. That's honestly how I'm doing it. Uh, that'll do. A couple of those there. We need to put a couple of P220s over here too. We're going to teach our Minutemen how to shoot accurately. We have adopted the P220 as our sidearm of choice. Like I say, I've scrapped the idea of giving everyone a Stetchkin because I think that just makes the system just a little bit too complicated. Hence why I've stuck with P220s as standard and Desert Eagles for officers. Okay, so that's my P220s. Now we've got some FAMASs to put down. Luckily, for masses are not too difficult to come by, and I can actually build them. Wow, that's, that was surprisingly easy. Place of FAMAS here as well. Because some of the men who are training here will be training with their pistols. Because what's good about you being really handy with a rifle if you can't defend yourself up close? So we've got to train our guys to be able to hit people at long range. So let's try and rotate this round another way. Seems a bit daft to have them all facing exactly the same direction. That's it. I mean, I know these aren't the same ones that our soldiers use, but... They're fairly similar, so... There 
Excellent. Brilliant. So that is four FAMASs, four handguns, an M60, and an unmodified CS5. All training weapons for my men to, to use, which will be really good. So under workshop ammo, I think we're going to need some 308s. So how many boxes of 308s can we put down here? Uh, am I missing something here? Oh, of course, it's under do it your shelf. What am I talking about? Do it your shelf. Clutter. There we go. Ammo and weapons. <laughs> Six mini nukes. Yeah, boxes of 308s going to need those if you're going to be practicing with this because this does use 308s excellent now if we go under OC decorator we can get bullets just regular bullets regular boxes I should put a couple of mp5s up here as well because we will be using them to train with so the 308 rounds Put a couple of single bullets on here. Yeah, a couple of those. Now there will be a number of forty-fives. There we go. Now there will be some single forty-five rounds because when you when you reload a pistol, you unload it. I should say. You do have to eject the last shell if it's loaded. So I think it's quite realistic that there would be a couple of loose 45 bullets just on this counter. Just a few for each. You know, if you've done a drill, you've just put the bullet down, for example. Problem is you can't get magazines, you can only get loose bullets, which is the one the one downside to this. Let's just give them a little bit of variety. And there's all the forty five rounds down there. 5.56s of course but that's good they now have a good view over there they've all got their weapons fully loaded up here and I think I under settlement markers where is my cup of tea there it is uh, I made myself a cup of tea to uh, do this part and then I forgot where I put it how good am I mm -mm. lovely Shows a score for firing target toggle. Um, what am I looking for then? Because if I do the target practice here. Ah, uh, right. So these obviously sync up. So every time you shoot them, they add a score on. The hell? You can see all that glitches over there, but that will go away once I put some stuff in. Maybe that would be good for a platform out there I can put it on the platform provided a wire can go to it um, what does the miscellaneous have that requires passive power Uh, 
you know what? What I'm going to do here... Oh no, the display doesn't move. Only the box. Because I was thinking of putting it up in the corner, slightly rotated, which would look kind of cool. Oh, that's a shame, really. Um, I might have to take one of those spare makeshift batteries. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. It's a f what am I doing? It's a fucking static item. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's put this down. Could not find the required objects. That is because I haven't put one down yet. So if I put a target marker, we can only have one per settlement, which is fair enough. But I need to hook this up to something. Oops, forgot about that. I'll have to rig that up in a bit. So let's go and make the apparatus they need. Can I crouch out of this window? No, no I cannot. Fair enough. I'll have to go out myself. Can I climb through here? <laughs> no. In some ways that's good. It means the safety rating on this place is very good. There's the firing range. Right, how far does the border go out? A long way. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, brilliant. So what I'm going to do... I'm sure you guys have seen this before. If we go to Snap and Build... The industrial stuff. Okay. Put on these industrial frames. This is actually going to be a right pain in the backside. <laughs> and a longer episode than expected, but um, this is going to be fun to do. It's a good thing we have place anywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. So, if we're placing this down, we're going to make it out of the um, military. The additions, yep, yeah, there we go. If this, if I can pull this off, this is going to be amazing, it really is. So, military... Let's do some military industrial bridges. Now, do they snap to the top here? No? Okay, in that case, let's put a military room. Oh, shit. Once I get the first room on here, everything will be fine, I can assure you. Yeah, so I want this one. Oh, for goodness sake. And you don't even snap. That's... Oh. Nope. You don't snap the correct way. I 
I want... I want one with one wall in it. That's what I want. Oh, for goodness sake, just... Why won't you snap the correct way? See, this is why snapping is the bane of my life. See, it only snaps one way. That way. I'm already getting annoyed with this. I'm already getting quite annoyed. Yes, so this is tall enough. That's what we like. We like this to be tall enough. Come on, let's actually get this ship going. I mean, I've got another way to sort this out if it doesn't work out that way, but... Okay, I'll tell you what. Oh, go away. Game's dashboard. Oh, it's a bloody corner. Of course it is. So you two can play that game. I'll just rotate you the way I want you. Perfect. Yeah, brilliant. So that's a slightly lower platform. So what I want to do now is under snap and build industrial bridges, military. I want to put in a couple of these. Uh, no, I want a corner that way. Then a corner this way. I think there should now be some stairs. personally don't think they'll be able to shoot down this low. So let me... Yes, let me just put on a quick balcony just here. Yeah, that's. I think that's low enough to create a target down there. looking for here. Can I put these additions on? In the middle. No, I mean, I can only place them below the bridge. I don't think these snap either. No, they don't. I think it's because it's the military tile set and not the civilian tile set. So let's put... Let's put another level up, upwards. Um, now we are right on the border, so it's going to have to go round to the right. Brilliant. Now before I forget, let's save a few of those. I'm going to place a piece up a little bit to the top here. Need this to be ever so slightly varied. So it's going to look like it's kind of badly cobbled together, which is, which is good. It is good in some ways. Ok, 
Okay, that's about the same level now, which is good. Now, if I put one balcony forwards, and then a three way junction facing this way. Now, this would have to come up by one more staircase to make this possible. So let's take this up one more. Place this up here. There. Let me move this. I need the corner once more, like that. Now I can put the three-way junction in. No, one more bridge, then the three-way junction. I can't believe I'm getting such good ideas out of this. Then we can make a, a small military room up the top here. I want to make sure everything I put in it is not interactable. I don't want settlers teleporting up to it. No, it needs to be the military room, that's right. So, I have a doorway. Okay, let's make that. Okay, I want a door and a window corner. Do we have one of those? No, I don't think we do. Which is unfortunate, I'll be honest. No, we just have those. Hmm, okay. I'll have to make it work another way. Though, to be honest, is it really going to matter? Settlers will not be coming up here. So, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's make this one. And I want a corner. Two corners. Then I want a mid section. Over there. So yeah, you're going to be able to see through this doorway from here, which is great. Brilliant. So we've got a nice little target practice room in here. Let's just put the correct panel in here. Like that. Beautiful. So the industrial bridge is, let's make that end here, though I'm going to do some more to this myself. So let me get some stairs up. Okay, so these guys can shoot up high. Now under settlement markers, this is where I'm going to build and put in that the target it's under target practices isn't it yes i'm going to put this target toggle in here the fact that it needs uh, active power is a bit of a pain though i'm sure i can make something work so, targets. What can we put up here for targets? Well, that for one thing, but... Let's make our own targets. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. So, we need defence. Guard post.
Now we do have these tall sandbag walls, but I think they look a little bit overdone. D defensive position. Yeah, I'd say that's good. No, that's um, that can be assigned to people. I don't want to do that. Which one was it? I think in that case, Homemaker has fences. Yeah, under fences, miscellaneous barriers. I think they have sandbags here. Yes, here we go. So we got some sandbags we can put up. Costing cloth, but don't matter. Cool, so we'll fortify this corner up. What other barriers do we have? Oh, tyres. I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing to put in here. So we'll put some tyres in. And lovely, juicy tyres. I know it's a bit. Uh, I know it's a bit counterintuitive being on top of a, a structure like this, but it's not going to matter too much. That's awesome. I think the target toggle should be here. Have that slightly facing them. I think we're going to have to connect this to a pylon somewhere. Um. I don't think gunfire can break pylons, so I think we should be safe. But let's put the pylon here and connect it to the target. Cool. Let me just take this corner out until I'm done with it, of course. Now, heading along this balcony, we'll probably have a target here and a target down low. So let's uh, do some targets first. So down below, we're going to have likely some more sandbags. So, can we get some small sandbag walls? Yes, we can. Excellent. So, down here we'll have one of our targets. Now, what less... Um, Let's set this up as one. Yeah, I don't think that should be a, a bad first target. Have a trigger man down here to shoot at. He's uh, not worth very many points, though. We can certainly give him that. Now, under Gruffy DD, I'm fairly certain we have some wall signs. Now, under miscellaneous, oh nice, notice board, I didn't even know that was there. Posters, miscellaneous, you have these targets, 
you can even have Preston as one. Which I think would be quite funny, actually. So I am actually going to put Preston down as one. So yeah, Preston is now a target. <laughs> because, why not? Need to make him roughly human size. Yep, so he can be shot at from here. So we can put an invisible target card. Now it has to be a target marker for a guard, because that will match up to the marker down there. Target card, scab, target scab, M, vendor. Yeah, I think target card guard here is what I'm looking for, so that will be good. Okay, so I'm going to put the invisible target card on there. So they actually shoot at the poxy thing. Um, in this window, I'm going to put um, another target. Let's put a desk in in this window. I would put a chair, but then settlers might use it. So we'll put a table in here. Problem is, all these chairs are... Unless I use the children's chair. Yeah, I mean, I could use a children's chair to do it. Now that's just uh, regular furniture. Let's put something tall in the way of this, uh, the way of this window here. Be under containers. Yeah. I know not very many people are going to actually see this, but I, th I still think it's worth putting the details in. So put some lockers and a desk in here. Now nobody is going to see the uh, Gruffy DD target up close. So let's put in another one of these uh, signs here. So Gruffy DD posters. Like so. Yeah, so you cannot see that at all. Oh, yes, because it's. Um... Oh, this is why snapping is a pain in the backside. How did I know that would happen? <sighs> Great, so I'm going to have to crawl my way back up again. <laughs> God, I love doing this, said nobody ever. Cool. Right, can I actually do this properly now? So, decorations, graffy DD, wall signs. Yeah, 
So the, as I say, the poster is one-sided. You can't see it from here, but nobody is going to be back there, so why bother? So settlement markers, target practice, guards. So yeah, it is invisible, so you're not going to see it from the top there. You can see it from behind. <laughs> okay, so we've got three targets already. We've got good old Preston stuck to the front here. We've got this one here. I think that's a good target for anyone on the left side of the range. Excellent. We need to set a few guards up on the top there. Perhaps I should set up one of those display things. That'd be really cool. I could actually dress up some mannequins like raiders. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. So bear with me, I'm going to do the wiring and I'm going to put some mannequins up. I don't want to bore you getting all the raider uniforms, so I'll do that off camera. Bear with me just a second. There we go. I think I'm done now. I've put these mannequins in this special forces uniform, which, now that I look at it, looks remarkably similar to the Minuteman uniform, but looks quite a bit more generic. So I've put targeting markers on all of them. They're concealed inside here somewhere. Can't quite see. But um, there is one there. Yeah, so this one's in the head. So they'll be shooting at this one's head. There's one stood here. Uh, two on the balcony there. And I think there's three in the building and two on the roof. Oops. I put a car in there just for the shits and giggles. And also put one on some scaffolding over here with a marker in the neck. So they'll be shooting at him too. Turns out the toggle scorecard doesn't seem to work whatsoever. Which is a royal pain in the arse, it must be said. But we now have a target practice structure. Which is the main idea of this. Let me just uh, hop over and try and get this. it doesn't work. Brilliant. Oh, back. And we'll collect our climbing apparatus. <laughs> I think that actually looks really cool. Nice little target practice structure. Let's go and see what it looks like from inside. Oops, a daisy. No cats. Haven't caught another cat all yet. I'm trying to catch a few. The farm's not much, but it's something. So it's a long old trip inside now. It's annoying how it rains indoors, but it can't be helped. Oh, now that looks good. Come on. Hey, there's a time and a place for that. And that's eight of them. Hey, <laughs> close enough anyway. Yeah, I actually really like how that's turned out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of gunfire which you can shoot at. And we've got ten spaces with which to shoot them with. Made this look so good. Right, now. I have a feeling we're going to need a few more uniforms for this, but here's our firing range, luckily. 
Now to try and boost the happiness, I'm actually tempted when I put the guards here to make them level 3 um, general store people. I mean, they could be... What's the other one? Weapons and armor, because weapons and armor will generate more caps for the settlement as well, but I'm kind of more interested in getting the happiness through. So I could make Minutemen just guarding here and just make them vendors. Shouldn't be a problem at all, really. Now, I've got the issue with roofing this place, which is what we're going to do now. Or at least we're going to try to. Uh, of course, it's under Homemakers Brick Buildings. Yeah, now the issue is I need to make sure the roof matches the floor. So where is the flat roof? Yeah, it's definitely this flat roof that we had. That's it. So when we wall this off, it just looks as it should be, really. I can't... There we go. I need to get that to snap properly. They should. There's going to be an issue. Like, say that's not matched up. Now it's matched up. Oh, that's matched up there. That's it. Now there needs to be another one just here. Unfortunately, the height of this doesn't match up. can't see the disparity as you go through there so I'm happy to put that one to one side that's just a very small crease in the ceiling I can put up with that Okay, what I'm going to do here is put this piece in. I think the best way to do this actually is, is to actually climb onto the roof and sort it that way. Otherwise I'm just going to be going round and round in bloody circles. So let's get up on the roof and, and do this. Yeah, because now I can actually see where the guidelines are here. In terms of overhangs and that, I'm not worried too much. Because um, the chances of me going on the roof at any point are going to be fairly slim. And people are still falling off the fucking roof. <laughs> uh, my settlers clearly do not have any concept of heights. Right, I see where the issue is here. It needs to be snapped. Where is it? Roof. Yeah, that is the issue. It's not snapping to this bit there. Brilliant. 
bring that up to cover that, which is perfect. I had no choice. Look at all the blood. No, don't do that. That's the piece we want. Come on. Just drop that into place. That's it. Oh, hello. We've got an attack on the castle. Oh, shit. That reminds me. Oh! Thought that was actually going to kill me for a second there. Uh, just make sure they're locked. Now, if I head to the east side, uh, west side of the castle, sorry, I should have, from how I deliberately built this thing. Mm believe it's from this win this window here a perfect view of the entire assault and I should be able to start beaning them off before they even get close enough to become a threat That firing combined at me. And because I have the sneak attack maxed out and instigating, I can pick off practically anybody. This is why I love better criticals. Hello. No, you don't, son. No, I see you. See how easy this is from the castle when you've got it fully built. Uh, the Minutemen are now engaging. Oh, hello. Legendary. I think now they've been alerted, they're uh, not dying in one shot anymore. <laughs> he thought he could just stop still. He didn't count on me. Lovely. A good thing they can't use stim packs on themselves. <laughs> My settlers are on their way out. 
though she's not holding her Kalashnikov. Come on, pick off the ones long distance. There you go. Better protect this guy over there. Oh, come on. There you go, it only took you about 12 rounds, Jesus. Sometimes I swear your crosshair is actually on them and they just don't die. We just don't get a hit. <laughs> so that'll take like two rounds in this entire assault. See, that was literally right in the back of his head. Didn't even register. Headshot. Two more left. So I've used a fair few rounds, but take an injury, my friend. Just a flesh wound. Good night. Four shots, that uh, killed him. And I can't really see the other one. That looks like the settler, that must be the synth. Yes, my good karma's paying off. Uh, there you go, castle safe. Where was I? Oh yes, of course, I was trying to put the roof on this bloody castle. Hello? Uh, why is everybody shooting at me? What did I do? I haven't killed any settlers. See, the Minutemen don't care, but the settlers do. What the fuck? These settlers don't care either. Well, might as well go and loot these guys then. I can't understand that. They just... Settlers just decided they didn't like me. In that case, I'm going to... Fast travel away. 
I still can't actually figure out why they just turned on me like that. Oh my god, look at the state of the castle wall. <laughs> you can tell they had a really hard time hitting me. <laughs> just tucked up in one of those windows. Just beating them off. Right, in that case, give me a second and I'll come back when uh, my settlers are being a little bit less douchey. You have come a long way, my friend. Yes. You're not even in the boundaries anymore. But hey, we gained a level. Uh, let me just see what I can put for this. Uh, well, I'm training up melee weapons again. Oh, screw it. Just for completionist's sake at this point. Right, back in a sec, guys. Fantastic. So, uh, as you can see, the bit in front of me is ever so slightly different. It's more or less the same principle, but the shape is so much different. I do much prefer that. I would say I went back and did this deliberately because I didn't like it and wanted to make an even better structure than I did before. The reality of it was my game got fucked and corrupted. I could have swore that I quick saved a few times in that building, but obviously didn't. And after that attack, I tried to fast travel to a settlement, which oddly enough seems to have zero settlers, I think. It's been at attacked and destroyed, so I need to go and check it out. Uh, all of the other ones seem to be okay, though. Uh, every other settlement seems to be exactly as it... Oh, there you go, 100% happiness. Well, hey. Um, I tried to travel here, and my game immediately crashed, and my last save was at the beginning of the video, so I've had to redo everything which I've dutifully gone ahead and done. So yes, all of this looks slightly different, but it's more or less the same principle now. Still need to put a wall in there, but I have gone round and I have started re-roofing the entirety of this floor. God, that looks awful. That's better. Cool. Yep, yeah, don't want any gaps in the roof now. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Uh, a small difference in the roof I can live with. Big differences I can't. So yeah, I've gone all the way down here and re-roofed the entirety of this lot here. So I'm going to do the re-roofing and hopefully the re-walling before I finish off this episode. So let's get to it, because I know we're already coming towards the longest ever episode we've ever done here. Two hours. Oi! I'm making sure I quick save constantly. To be fair, the game did actually auto save before I tried to fast travel, but the game corrupted and crash to desktop every time I loaded. So I figured out, I think it's something to do with the SKK settlement attack system mod that I have installed. I have a feeling this is what's causing the issue, or one of the issues anyway. It's probably not able to process so many NPCs at once or something like that. But uh, I have actually since gone in to my set uh, settings and disabled that entire mod. So that shouldn't plague me any further. A little gap. Let's turn my little torch on here. There we go. And then I can just tap tap to bring it up in line. I'll have to do something about these windows. Because you can't really get half sized 
roof tiles, unfortunately. Come on, get up to the right height. Thank you very much. Blimey, the uh, sky outside looks incredibly weird right now. Oh, screw it. Ah, oh, this is nearly a proper home for our settlers. I'm hoping this is going to be all I need to do for this place. I honestly am. It's not that I'm sick of building this thing, of course, but I'm hoping I don't need to do any more crazy overhauls to get everything up where it should be. I mean, I've got 91 beds, which I could probably push to 95, a bit of a stretch. I mean, I'm not going to lie, there are a few things I need to do with this place, but it can wait a lot of it. Come on, all the way back here. Fantastic. will encroach a little bit so we'll we'll leave that one as is for now come on nearly there <laughs> okay so well, we can't have a gap that big so let's Sort this out here. Brilliant. Get rid of the glitching on that. These do need fixing, so let's let's do these now before I come off the roof here and I completely forget about them. There we go, that will do it. And again, just raise it up by one, uh, point 0.1. So these are gonna be the really painful things we need to do here. Brilliant. Excellent. So we've covered those windows here. Uh, this corner here needs a little bit of work, so let's patch this in. Um, yep. Can't have that corner exposed like that, so... Bring this back 50. Again, I can live with it being a tad out, it's not an issue. This panel here needs to be the 
this needs to be patched up, which is fair enough. Add. Perfect. It's not going to look perfect, but these very small imperfections, you're not going to see them from from outside the castle. So, I mean, this is a, a roof tile, for God's sake. Bring that towards me ever so slightly, just like that. And remove the glitch. Put these in here, like so. Five, ten, five, ten, fifty. So, I keep seeing that, I keep feeling as though I'm going to be able to see up from there, but I'm trying not to think about that. 1, 5, 10, 50. Ten, five. Oops, nope. Yeah, that's... Brilliant, that's covered. Got three windows to cover here. I'll probably have to get up on the roof again at some point, but uh, I think this is a good start to it. Oops, nope, don't do that. Uh, neighbours and his poxy motorcycle again. Look at that, or he's driving a sports car. Yes, neighbours with sports cars. Wish I could afford a sports car. Perfect. Uh, 1, 5, 10, 50. Beautiful. Back to ten. Five. Back to one. Brilliant. Okay, so all those windows are now covered. These ones over here are covered. Probably still have a couple on that wing over there. The east wing, I think. Right, how are we going to do this? So this one here needs a covering. That piece there needs a covering. And that one there needs a covering. This then needs to be uh, dragged back. That's going to leave a very small crack in the in the concrete here. It seems a bit redundant to have to put an entire new tile on it. But it is the bathroom. I wouldn't want uh, the elements getting in while I'm in the bathroom. for crying out loud, what did I just do? I think I just accidentally punted the roof tile down there. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I put on a hundred by accident. That's that's my stupidity, that is. Right, so shift that out of place. Come on. 
There we go. I think that's now got it covered. Just need to merge that across. Enough to cover that. Fantastic. This needs a fresh piece of concrete to cover this. Take that further away. Oh god, I forgot there's a few pieces over here. See, building a proper settlement here takes a wee bit of time and just a little bit of patience. So I keep saying the word we, yes, it's not like I'm, I'm from a part of the world where that's common. I think that's more of a, a Scottish uh, dialect, I think, but uh, I'm not from Scotland. I think maybe because... Uh, where I'm working at the moment, I do deal with a fair few Scottish uh, clients, so <laughs> that might be where I've picked it up from. Okay, that's almost everything. I've got one piece here. Look at all these uh, changes keep coming up in the corner there. Oh, come on. This is successful. We can do a nice fat recruitment drive next episode and that'll be quite interesting. Really bring our settlement to life. Brilliant. Okay, so the top floor is now roofed. We just need to put the walls in. Make this place as good as it can be. Now, without a hint of lying here, there will be some more times I'll need to get on the roof. For example, this. Now, because that is there, there's not really a feasible way to build on that without putting this in myself. I mean, these match up height-wise, which is kind of odd in some in some ways. Okay, don't need don't need any of that here. Uh, this has already been fully re-roofed. That's fine. Re-roofed. It's not like it had one to begin with, but hey ho. Okay, so these need the same treatment, which means that there will be another trip to the roof. Okay, now this I'm not going to put here because this could be a potential location for a staircase up to the third floor if I require one. So I'm not going to do anything there. Um, do I want a broken window? Now, you know what? Let's make this into a doorway. Yeah, this can be a doorway, and I'm going to put a balcony outside that. And this is all coming together, guys. It really is. Uh, brick. Well, it can't all be uh, can't all be windows and views. So. So I've tried really hard to maintain the um, pentagonal nature of the castle, and I honestly think I fucking nailed it. I honestly do. I, I'm really proud of this. I don't think I've ever been able to build a settlement this large and keep it so coherent. Normally my standards will start off really good. And then they'll just slowly deteriorate, where I either lose interest or the, uh, the fresh ideas just run out. 
that I'm doing this a good level of pacing, so I'm not burning myself out, which is one of my main concerns. I don't want to burn myself out of anything. But like, I, I go to sleep thinking, oh my god, what an idea. <laughs> and it's a great feeling. Okay, so it looks a bit dingy. I can I can deal with that though. There's things I can put on the walls, things I can do to to remedy that. Um, that's an internal doorway. Uh, the external ones are here. Uh, of course, it's going to put it in the wrong way round. Brilliant. Okay, so brick here. Am I going to fall into the same trap? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I am going to do the same thing here. I say it's going to need another trip to the roof, but it means, say, uh, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, isn't it? If you need to do it for one, then you might as well want to do it for dozens of others. So that doesn't quite match up, which is fine. Doesn't that match up? I'm confused now. I think there's a simple remedy to this. If I remove this and put this in line with the wall over here. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to remove the balcony as well. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it the uh, the difficult way then. Remove this. Put this in here. Yes, it takes up a bit of space there, but we'll just drag it forwards. Until, until that matches. Then we'll put another one. Like so. I can see where the issue is here. But it doesn't really matter, to be honest. That's fine. Right, so we need back to brick. And does that match up? Almost. Okay, so this is a bit further forward, so push that back. Push that back ever so slightly. There's a small crack in the wall there. Let's drag that back half an inch. And that is this section rewalled. Again, why am I saying rewalled? It didn't have a wall to begin with, so it can't really be re-walled, can it? Okay, what wall did I put on this corner? Nothing. What was I going to do with this again? I was going to put the parapet on here. Yes. I just couldn't put a parapet on until the top floor was attached. So if that will explain this. Yeah, parapet can go through there. Oh, why won't you attach properly now? The floor is the same height. 
Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to do it the uh, difficult way again. Very slightly off center, but again, we'll have to live with it. fan of how this is turning out. Let's just shuffle that across. Okay, there's a slight uh, imperfection there, but not an issue. Thing is, you can't snap this to other parapets, which is a bit silly. Come on. Oh yes, someone one times. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for updates. Yeah, so I can't have any corner pieces for like a pentagon shape like this, but that doesn't matter specifically, really. Okay, now let's get a balcony, shall we? The balconies are under snap and build, real estate balconies, prefabs, got a nice fat bronze one, like the rest of the castle. I'm pretty much the only one who's going to be using these balconies, so the fact the parapet sticks through really doesn't bother me at all. And that's a small imperfection that can be covered up with something. See, so part of this is kind of accepting that there will be quite a lot of problems with, with builds which aren't perfectly square. It's just how you deal with them, really. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Right, where is the parapets again? Parapet. Bingo. Yep, that fits perfect. Now the reason I'm putting these parapets in, as you can see, we have these really horrible um, end of floor borders where you can see all the internal workings of the floor. The parapet just works to cover that and just give it a much nicer finish. So it's, it's a little bit of detailing, and a little bit of OCD avoidance if you want to put it that way as well. Because I do hate seeing really bad imperfections in my builds. Small ones give it a bit of character. But like that, that's perfect. That literally crosses bang in the middle. And if they all did that, I'd be a very happy man. Unfortunately, they don't. That's just the reality of it. I will probably tidy these up off camera, but for now, that's how I'm going to leave those. sure why there's blood up here. Could be where I accidentally shot Kate in the face, but uh, we won't go into that. That's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah, I shot Kate in the face by accident. 
now that I think about it. Don't ask me how. Right, prefab balconies. The nice brass. Cool. So we've got a nice... Especially just teleported up in the air. Yep, we've got a nice view here. I need to erect some uh, proper balcony like railings around here. What I might do is put this third floor in just in case any of these jackasses actually do end up on the roof. You know what, I'm actually going to do that because I don't trust my settlers at all to um, not jump off and break their shins repeatedly. Uh, so it's going to be under wood construction. Oh god, it doesn't match up now, does it? Mm, it doesn't really match up, but... Yeah, so you can get up and down those. I'm going to leave that there just so that they don't end up, you know, breaking their own AI. At least they have a way down. But I'm such a good bloke like that, and I. I'm still grateful for what we did. It's good to know we can count on them. Okay. Brick. So let's slowly trickle along the building here. And install the last of these brick panels. I'm actually so excited. This is the biggest build I've ever done. Probably the most successful. I've done big builds before, but they honestly look terrible and they're just function over form. I've not done that this time. I've actually done something which is functional and looks good at least i think it looks good you can feel free to disagree with me there but in terms of making it work as an actual settlement and not where your settlers are just stuck in one place because they can't nav mesh anywhere i think i've done a pretty good job Okay, that doesn't quite look right. Uh, that's better. Yeah, put that there, that there, that there. No imperfections across here. Just this very, very minor one, which is absolutely fine with me. Put that in there. Um, actually, I think I can get away with bringing this down a tad. Let's bring that down properly. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not using the global axis, I'm not quite getting them spot on. So I just have to do these very minor adjustments that you see every now and then. So this can go in here. This can go here. That can go there, even. That can go there.
perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, there's a few, you know, structural imperfections, but from up here, you won't see them. And I have access to the roof now, so I can make all that work. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly there. So around the other side of the castle... I can see below there. Yeah, I can s I can actually see underneath these walls. Yeah, definitely it's just very carefully bump them down a little bit there. That's fine. That's ironed that out. Can I see under these? I don't think so. It's good. So, fits like a glove in there. Let's put this wall in. Marvellous. That needs to connect to that other wall there. Let me put this in first. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Um. very carefully adjust the walls back. Now this should fit like a glove. Ah. Okay, not a hundred percent. I know it seems redundant for such a small area of space, but this one is an important bit of space. Come on, select the correct piece here for me. Just there. So this doesn't even match. Yeah, it's not even in the correct place there. And that's a small structural imperfection. What does that look like from outside is the question. Uh, not looking at you, you idiot. You can't even notice that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I still think that adds character to the castle, so I might actually leave that as wood. If I find out that that annoys me after a while, though, I'll come back and change it. <laughs> We've got a perfect view of everything from up here. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. But we've rewalled the whole of the castle and we've built an entire living facility on the roof here. This honestly makes me so happy. Mm -mm. Celebratory drink of coffee. We can see for miles up here. We can see the wasteland. Oh. Right, let's put the roof on, do a very, very last quick bit of decoration to break up some of the brick. And then we're done, at least for this episode. I think probably a couple more, three or four more episodes, and I think this castle will actually be fully ready. All I have to do is go on a big recruitment drive, probably next episode.
just re-roof this like I did earlier. Oh, there was a very small crack in the roof there. Fix that while I'm at it. No doubt I'll probably see that from the inside at some point, and then my inner construction self would be absolutely screaming at myself. Oh yes, this one here. Stop that glitching. Do you really think you did the right thing? It's gonna be alright then. I'm yeah. sure. Just tug that back a bit. I'm still grateful for what you did. Just minimize any potential <laughs> flaws. Flipping heck, what's going on out there? Okay. I did it one too many, didn't I? Thank you. Excellent. There's all these little turret bastion things. I think that looks kind of cool, actually, from here. I think it needs a bit more flavour, like may maybe some lights, maybe some uh, more highlights on it, but I can always tidy it up later. Right, so we've got these two here. No, I don't want a floor, I want a roof. I want a proper roof. Five, ten, fifty. Back to ten. Back to five. Brilliant. Half one, five, ten, fifty. Ten, five. One. Half point one. There we go. I get the feeling that's going to annoy me. Actually, why is there such a disparity here? Yeah, that's um, that's a problem. That's going to be a gap in the roof, which we don't want. Brilliant. Uh, cover that up. Um, the whole of this is gaps. What on earth? Okay. Gonna have to go extreme on that. We can't have a gap in it. <laughs> we can't have gaps that big. Sorry, but we just can't. See, this is the level of detail that I have to go to for this. Actually, why am I doing that when I can just snap these pieces to the correct place? Yeah, I know they're going to be really glitchy for a sec. Bear with me. Oh, for fuck's sake. There you go, and that's been re-roofed. Just two more little battlements here to go. 5, 10, 50. That's 50. 
down to 10. Five. Down to one. No, that's not a gap. That just looks pretty slim. Slim pickings there. This is radio Brilliant. There you go. All of the roofs, roofs, roof, roofing, whatever you want to call it, is done. That is completed. That looks the absolute bee's knees. <clears throat> right way that carpet down there looks red when it's actually blue. Well, to my knowledge anyway. Yes, we've done it. We've actually done it. The biggest part of our re-roofing and resettlement project is done. Now let's do the final bit of decoration before we hit the two and a half hour mark. I've been on a roll today, I really have. Gruffy DD, wall signs, factions, the Minutemen. We're going to hang these new Commonwealth flags everywhere. Anywhere that people will take note of these. I mean, this is the headquarters. This is the Miniman headquarters. This needs to be the absolute dog's nuts in terms of patriotism. People love us. And with this space of operations, we'll be able to do even more. And that's what I love. Uh, I was going to say, I do have surface snap on, don't I? Oh, that's not even touching the wall. Might want to check the other one does the same there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that touches the wall. So we got the Commonwealth flags there. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer to that one before I can adjust it. Fortunately, that's what these gaps here are for. Well, it's not what they're there for, but it's a, a nice side effect. You know, screw it. Let's put the banners up before. I'm not going to ruin the momentum. I'll do that off camera. Oh my god, look at this place. To think just like 10 episodes ago, this was an, an absolute derelict mess. And now it's starting to look like a city. It's actually starting to look like a city. I need to put some lights up there to make this place even more atmospheric. I need to really bring this place up. Hello. But for now, guys, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I love you. Like you, you guys are the best. If you've made it to the end, thank you very much for your support. If you have any more suggestions for this place so far, please drop them in the comments. I'll be responding to them. Uh, I'll be taking them on board. And whatever it is I need to do, I will be looking at them for you. So... Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. I'm going to have a good one, because it is my birthday today. So, I'm off to relax. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.